most of astronomy happens at night but there is some astronomy which happens during the day to study the sun which powers the solar system one has to work during the day and india is setting up a national large solar telescope at the site where i am standing i am standing on the banks of the famous pangong so lake a lake which is shared between india and china and the both countries had a skirmish on it this is the place where india wants to set up its national large solar telescope to study the sun and i have with me dr annapurni subramaniam she is the director of the indian institute of astrophysics and they are characterizing the site some instrumentation is behind us uh, dr annapurni what is this national large solar telescope so the uh, national large solar telescope is a 2 meter class telescope to study the sun in grand detail uh, as you know the india has mm -hmm. a large heritage in studying the sun uh, the kodaikanal observatory which is celebrating its 125 years has been studying the sun since 1899 and we have been doing so by taking daily pictures to understand the long term variation in the sun as you know the sun has sun spots and which goes into cycles of about 11 years and if you want to study cycle to cycle and how it varies you have to have large amount of data now we know that and we know that there is a variation and there is the, the nuances of that is already understood now what we don't understand is how these sun spots come together and, and group for, forms groups and then some of them gets into making these flares and this is called solar storms solar storms and the coronal mass ejections so in order to the magnetic field in the sun plays a major role and in order to understand that we need to have a large collecting area and that helps in creating high resolution as well so you can actually see the dynamics within a, a sun spot system to actually understand the magnetic field and the dynamics over there why and, are we why are we setting it up on the banks of the pangong so and we are standing on a finger there is salt water all around us yeah so as like hanley this is a similar height so the height gives you very cl clear sky very uh, uh, transparent sky number 1 it is also a very dry place so you have uh, advantage of the near infrared and uh, the the what the problem with the sunlight is that once you collect it and try to focus to a point it heats up everything so you need to take away the heat so in some telescopes in europe etc you actually do an active cooling here the natural wind you can see this is very windy here it is in a constant direction this wind actually takes away the heat and we have been characterizing this site for the last 18 years and we have traced the direction of the wind wind pattern and the amount of the clear uh, sky available during the day time it has been phenomenal so that is the one of the reasons and i should also tell you that in the asia pacific region there is no major a uh, facility of the sun which can actually give you a, a a priori warning of something coming up because sun rises in the east so eastern countries should will be able to capture the sun first and then will be able to say the uh, occurrence or emergence of any large sun spots so this national large solar telescope when is it likely to come up so we have uh, put in the proposal almost about 10 years ago to the government and it has gone through several processes and it was supposed to be going to the financial committee for approval just before the covid time and since the covid struck it got delayed and now we mm -hmm. have uh, then we have acquired the land and we also have extra land for our office space so pre project activities are going on as of now and as part of the 100 day uh, uh, agenda, of the agenda of the government this project is also part of it and uh, the expenditure finance committee approval is moving so we look forward to the approval from the finance committee for the project so that we can take it up in the second half of this year see india recently launched the space based solar observatory aditya was the national large solar telescope to be the ground based counterpart for aditya which is already giving us good results you brought it out very extremely well 
uh, when in 2012 when Aditya Alvan was proposed, this was also proposed as a ground-based backup facility in the sense that you actually get the ground-based uh, high resolution images to actually com uh, uh, combine the images you get from the space. But unfortunately, this got delayed, but Aditya Alvan has started functioning and we are getting the data from it already. But I think uh, still a ground-based facility to give high resolution uh, data of the sun is extremely important because we have assets in space and we need to understand space with them much better. So it's really important. Life on Earth would not exist without the sun. It is a large nuclear powered fusion solar furnace. It occasionally gets very angry and earthlings need to understand when it's getting angry. Large telescopes like this on Earth, which India is wanting to set up on the bank of the Pangongso Lake in Ladakh and the Aditya satellite, which is already in space, will not only help protect space assets, but also give predictions of space weather and give help protect our grid, our telecommunication and many other activities. So, large solar telescope will give us a better understanding of the science of the sun, which is not understood, but also be an insurance policy for 1.4 billion Indians. On the banks of the Pangongso Lake, high in the cold desert of Ladakh, with camera person Rohit Vishkarma, Pala Bagla for NDTV.